When it comes to the world of media, especially political news media, we are witnessing something fascinating. We know that traditional TV, old legacy media, is dead because there is a ceiling and they've already hit the ceiling and they're not going to get m more viewers than before because of the new media. Whether you want to call it the age of independent outlets, the YouTubers, the podcasters and other websites, that's where the new game is. So I find it funny when I see the dinosaurs of the legacy media, like BBC's Nick Robinson, spending more time being concerned about, well, let's try and compete with our traditional old rivals, the mainstream media channels. So BBC are now too busy trying to attack GB News, which whilst it's the new channel, it's still part of the legacy media. It's still basically TV. Most of the views that they get is uh, on YouTube and Twitter hits uh, GB News rather than the actual full shows on TV. Having said that, they are doing better than the rest of the old legacy media. There was this moment for a few hours when Big Jet TV, which is a YouTube channel, uh, yesterday focusing on uh, <laughs> the Heathrow landings because of the storm that we had. And so the guy was actually standing just uh, outside the, the airport and filming the, the planes landing. It was fascinating. It got over 200,000 uh, viewers at one point that was the peak but millions and millions of people watched it more than bbc sky or any other channel so nick robinson invited the guy to go on bbc radio to take advantage of that the whole phenomenon and say well people watch that so if you bring him on then we're going to have more people listening to our radio show because the guy's there smart clever good but he did one thing Nick Robinson, that undermined the whole show. He essentially decided to, as a joke, insult their new rivals, GB News. You know, and just and telling... what, 200,000 viewers at one point? 238,000 view, live viewers at one point. They yeah. dream of that at GB News, I'll tell you. Really? I mean, <clears throat> okay. It's like, uh, for example, a big... Very, very successful football team. I'm not going to name them because it's going to basically divide people. I'm going to name all of them. But there's Man United, Liverpool, Arsenal, Chelsea, Man City. Making fun of... Again, I can't really name the small teams because, again, that will actually install people more. Make fun of a team from League 2 or Championship. <laughs> it, why? Why would you do that? Are you really that scared of GB News that you think you have to actually make fun of them? As I said, so GB News is actually still doing better than expected and they are getting at times if depending on the show for example prime time uh, nigel father's show getting more uh, viewers than sky news uh, you guys most of your legacy shows on bbc would not survive if it weren't for the fact that the whole thing is nationalized and state run uh, people you know traditionally had no choice and so they're kind of hardwired listening to bbc radio 4 on the other hand all of you are wrong all of you are outdated all channels new and old because TV is dead. And even GB News, as I said, most of the views, uh, they get it from the Twitter hits and the, the, the YouTube hits. And if they do Instagram or Snapchat or something like that, they will get it from that rather than people watching the full shows on TV. No one has the time. People like to have control over their lives and the content that they want to watch, what they want to watch, where they want to watch and how they want to watch and when they want to watch. That's more important. So all of you, you're too distracted by attacking each other, whereas we are still getting more views than most of your channels. That's the problem, and you guys are never going to learn that until we fully take over. That's why we are here. That's why subscribe to the channel, guys. I'm going to come back with more updates on my TCN. We are the media.